Hi guys, did you know that Europe has been really pushing their shorts lately? I'm sure you noticed it every time you open your YouTube. And this means for you as the business owner that you need to deliver this type of content to your audience because that is what they want. And the same applies for you who are working with building your personal brand. YouTube shorts are becoming really popular and they get thousands of views every single day. And today I'm going to teach you how you can do this all on automation and add a personal touch. And your YouTube shorts will not look like they are made on automation. And for all of this, we will use AI. Hi, my name is Alfie Lindeberg and I'm an expert in AI for productivity. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm making a lot of videos that will help you to become more productive with the help of AI. And just one last thing before we move. A quick disclaimer, this video is fully made by my AI avatar. And if you are interested in how to create your own digital twin, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I will be making a video about this very soon. And now let's continue. In this video, I will show you step by step how can AI create 1000 viral shorts and all this is fully automated and it will pause the videos for you so you don't need to do anything yourself. In fact, we can actually make up to a thousand of these YouTube shorts in less than half an hour. All right, so let's get going. In the first step, we will use ChatGPT and we will start by writing a prompt. A prompt is an instruction that we give to an AI tool. And in this case, we want to tell ChatGPT to write YouTube scripts for us. Remember, as a general rule, when writing prompts, you need to be as detailed as possible. If you say something generic, then you will get also a generic reply. The better your prompt, the more specific that you can get, the better the results you will receive. I have created the prompt for you, so you can just go to the description and copy and paste it. But let's first take a quick look at it. There are different parts of prompts that you should think about. In my example, I will create shorts that are focusing on ChatGPT tips and tricks. The video will have a catchy introduction, then more details and the prompt example that the users can just copy. So when I will ask ChatGPT to create the scripts, I will keep a structure. In my example here, I gave ChatGPT a role, then I gave it an instruction, provided a structure and the out out output format. And I will ask ChatGPT to provide me 20 scripts at the time, just not to reach the limitation. Currently, ChatGPT has a context window. This means that it can only generate a certain amount of the text at one time. So now you would need to continue this process in the same chat until you get the same number of scripts you're looking for. And now you can just copy and paste everything into a Google Sheet, all your scripts that ChatGPT has created for you. So go ahead, open a new Google Sheet document and add all these scripts into it. And we are successfully done with the step one. And now it's time to move to the step two. So what we want to do is to bulk create our videos and we are going to use a tool called Canva to do this. This is a very popular tool and what you need to do is go to Canva uh, and start creating a new design. So you go ahead and search for YouTube Shorts template. Once we have clicked on this, we'll be taken to a dashboard that looks like this. And you can be as creative as you want with your YouTube shorts. And if you need some inspiration, there are so many different templates that you can go through and just browse and choose anything you like from them. And it really depends on your taste 
uh, but I really recommend you to include your own video with your own face because it just give, gets much more traction. So now let's move to the exciting part. Let's create our videos. First, we will upload our video. So you press here and then just upload the file. And there is this style of YouTube shorts that is very, very popular on YouTube. And it's the person who is just pointing to different parts of screen and the text appears where they are pointing. So we will use the same idea. We will create the same video. Now, all that's left to do is to put in our text. So now you press on the apps menu and press bulk create. This is a premium feature and it costs $10 per month if you subscribe for the whole year or $15 but you can actually get this for absolutely free because you can uh, try Canva for one month and it doesn't cost anything. So the next thing is we can choose to enter data manually or upload the data. And we will click on to enter data manually and then just paste all of our YouTube scripts and press done. After I have done so, I'm going to go up here to the text and actually add in where these texts are supposed to be. And we will start with the heading on top and that's where the our ChatGPT tip is going to be. And I will call it ChatGPT tip, obviously. And I can modify this text if I want different uh, background or font. And you do this by clicking on effects. So whatever you like, I will just keep the text how it is. And now I'm just going to do the same process for the details of my ChatGPT tips. And I will also make sure that different parts of the text show up when they are supposed to. And this can be done by clicking on show timing and adjusting the text. This is where I can see how long this specific text is going to show up for. And now let me show you how the video looks like. So you have the chat GPT tip at the top and then the first time is the instruction and then you get details and then you get the prompt example. Now to make my YouTube shorts even more engaging, I want to add some music and to add in music, this is also a paid feature, but you need to go to the elements tab and go over to the music and scroll down to audio. And then you have so many different tracks you can choose from and I'm choosing this one. So what we're doing the next is that we need to connect the data so the right text would show up at the right time. And you do this by going back to the bulk create and then you're pressing connect the data. And then you just click on this text and click on the connect data and you choose the right column that this text is supposed to match with. So here I have chat GPT prompt and then I have introduction, details and a prompt example. So and then you press continue and all we have to do right now is just to click create and we have all of our YouTube shorts created just with this, this simple one click. All right, let's go and check how our shorts look like. Okay, let's play the first one and we get the tip, we get the introduction, we get the details and the prompt example. And there is one more. Okay, they both look really good and so do the others. And before we can move to the step three, we actually want to download all these YouTube shorts that we have created. And it is really easy. You just go up here click share and then click on download. And it's really important to check this box right here to download every single of these file, uh, files as own separate file and just press download now. 
So these YouTube shorts are so easy to make and they get so much traction and engagement. And what we want to do now is just to post all of these shorts on automation. It's if we do this manually, it will take us so much time that it's just impossible. So just imagine you would be sitting in your YouTube channel and adding all this video one by one. So what we're going to do is that we're going to upload all this. You can you use some kind of um, service for that. You can use Google Drive or you can use Dropbox. And then you just save the whole folder there and now that we have our folder ready with all our videos inside we are ready to use make.com and schedule all of this video to go out on automation all right for the, our next step let's use make.com and create our automation so you press on create a new scenario and now we can start creating this ai automation we will start with a module called repeater and what it does is it creates a loop of uploading a video and after the first video has been uploaded then it's going to upload the second video and so on so all of your videos videos are going to be uploaded one after another. In order to do this, the module that we will need is the repeater module. And the initial value is always one because we want this repeater to repeat for as many times as the number of the videos we just created. So if you have 100 videos, you enter 100 here. If you have 500, then it's a 500 and whatever amount of the videos you have. And now what you need to do is to connect your Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever service you're using. Um, I found that connecting Dropbox was much easier than connecting your personal Google Drive. It needed really many, many steps. But if you don't have Dropbox, go ahead and use Google Drive. So now when we have connected our Dropbox, we need to enable the videos to be posted automatically one by one. So you have to press select a file and press this map button. And this will allow the repeater to upload the videos one after another. Okay, now we have our Dropbox module set up and we can continue with the automatic posting of the videos on YouTube. So we will start by adding ChatGPT module so it would create catchy names for our videos. And you do it by pressing um, add a new module and you choose OpenAI and then choose create a completion. And then you enter your prompt here. And in my case, all these videos are about ChatGPT tips. So I will just ask ChatGPT to generate a catchy name, but you can really adjust your prompt until you are fully satisfied with the results. And now the final module that we need to connect is YouTube. So we press add a new module and search for YouTube and then we press upload a video. And you need to press create a connection if you haven't done this um, before and connect make to your YouTube. So it has all the permissions necessary to upload video to your YouTube channel. And now in the title video, we choose choices, message and content. And this will be our ChatGPT created title for this video. And all my videos are educational, so I will choose educational and then the video will be private for now. So the same as you do when you upload your video to yourself to YouTube, you need to schedule the video to be public. But before it, it should stay private. When we select the publish a date, this is where we have to think about how far apart do we want to space out our videos. When do we want to post? Do we want to post it every day? Do we want to post it once a week, once a month and so on? So the next part is a bit complicated with this function, but just repeat after me and you will get the logic. So now we need to schedule the publication and we go to the calendar fu function and we find the function called add days. And this a bit reminds like Excel functions. 
Uh, now I want the videos to be published starting from 24th of June and them to be published every day. So I choose the day and I always publish my videos at one o'clock daytime. And because we are running this in a loop, we need to add by the numbers of days times the numbers of times the loop has been running. So just follow this formula. So now we get back and find out the i from the repeater and then choose multiply in the functions tab and then we add number of days. And in my case, this is every day, but you can choose whatever you like. So by having this formula, you will get your timing right. And now don't forget to save your work and let's run this automation. So you can actually follow the whole process and to see how the video is downloaded from your Dropbox and then how ChatGPT creates a name for it and how it is uploaded to your YouTube. All right, now we have run our automation and we can go into YouTube and see how all our shorts have been uploaded automatically. And as I wanted them to be posted every day, you see they are scheduled like this. So after this automation has finished running, you can see that all of the videos will be posted with one day difference, just how I want it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you will use this AI system for automating your own YouTube shorts videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm posting a lot of videos about AI and automation. See you in the next one.